When Silicon Valley Bank collapsed recently, it created the second largest bank failure in U.S. history. First, let's understand how Silicon Valley Bank is unique in our opinion. The bank is arguably one of the most hyper-focused institutions in the U.S. if not the world. 95% of what they do involves working with technology, life science, and clean tech companies along with the venture and private equity firms that fund them. They aren't just dipping the toe in the water occasionally, but are playing the long game. This isn't some soft thing, it has tangible benefits to the clients including real domain expertise of their employees. They expect to work with the same entrepreneurs and investors multiple times in their career and it's in their interest to maintain those relationships during up and down cycles. Entrepreneurial Ethos They are constantly iterating on how they do business and refining the product offerings based on client feedback. Some examples would be launching a full UK branch when most banks in the UK are pulling back. Partnering with clients, like Mineraltree, to offer their services. Being the first US-based bank to be granted a 50-50 joint venture bank in China this past quarter. Offering 409A valuations and cap table management software, etc. Soup to nuts. SVB's ideal client is one that starts with them at the garage stage and grows up over time to be a multi billion dollar public company. They have the expertise, products, and ability to make that happen, thus, saving an entrepreneur the time and hassle involved in switching financial institutions. Here's how it all came tumbling down. As the bank grew to be the 16th largest in America, SVB invested their funds in long-term bonds when rates were near zero. This may have seemed like a good idea at the time, but when interest rates rose, those long-term bond prices fell, cratering their investments. On March 9th, the bank announced that it suffered a $1.8 billion after-tax loss and urgently needed to raise more capital to address depositor concerns. The market reacted sharply and the SVB bank lost over $160 billion in value in 24 hours. As the stock touched the ground, many account holders depositors moved quickly to withdraw money from the bank. Banks don't keep much deposits, cash in their vaults. They have a lot of bonds that they can liquidate to get cash if they need it in the short term. Unfortunately, those bonds have decreased in value since the federal government started to raise interest rates last year to combat inflation so SVB tried to sell a lot of the bonds at a big loss to meet extraordinarily high depositor demand which happened all at once. Bond sales couldn't meet depositor demands and that caused the bank failure so the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation took over the bank on March 11th to get depositors access to their money by March 14th, and the bank's troubles posed a major risk to the financial system. It wasn't just the depositors who were distancing their assets from the bank. Bloomberg report says that the Silicon Valley Bank CEO Greg Becker sold $3.6 million worth of company stocks less than two weeks before the firm disclosed the extensive losses that led to its demise. And Peter Thiel's founders fund withdrew millions by March 12th morning. The FDIC said in a statement that SVB had over $209 billion in assets, and $175.4 billion in deposits at the time of failure. It ended up being the government, not investors, who came to depositors' rescue. Before the FDIC stepped in, depositors could only access up to $250,000, the insurance limit for their accounts, but several companies had well over that amount in the bank, including popular companies like Roblox and Etsy. The fallout from Silicon Valley Bank's failure prompted President Joe Biden to speak to taxpayer concerns from the White House. Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe. Your deposits will be there when you need them. On March 14th, HSBC announced the acquisition of the UK arm of Silicon Valley Bank. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please spend a couple more seconds to like, share, and subscribe to encourage us to make more videos like this.